Speculation over a potential sale of the Broncos has been heating up for months now, but some family members of late owner Pat Boland say it didn't have to be this way. Boland's death triggered intense fighting within his family and the organization over the team's future. One of Pat Boland's brothers talked on camera about all this for the first time to CBS4 investigator Brian Moss. Brian's here tonight. Some members of the Bolin family are finally now pulling back the curtain mm -hmm. on what they consider turmoil that they believe has led to four losing seasons for the Broncos, chaos within the Bolin family, and disappointment for the fans. I'm Pat Bolin's brother. My name is officially William Alexander Bolin. It's Bill Bolin to most. And Bill Bolin was ready to talk. There's a number of things that happened that the Boland family believes was not right or part of the Boland family. You seem quite certain that your brother was taken advantage of in a diminished mental state. No question. Bill Boland and his daughter Julie spoke for the first time since multiple legal actions related to the team's leadership were resolved. Bill Boland filed suit in 2018 challenging the trustees who've been running the team. The suit was later dismissed. I think I want the fans to know we didn't want it to happen like this. Pat Bolin bought the Broncos in 1984 and later bought out Bill and a sister. I don't care what anybody says. And in his tenure, he was the best flipping owner there was in the NFL. Pat Bolin last updated his will and trust in 2009, designating these three trustees to take over if he was incapacitated or died. A judge said the update was valid and enforceable and reflected Patrick D. Boland's intent and will. But these members of the Boland family say based on their observations, Pat Boland was showing signs of dementia before amending his will and trust. He wouldn't talk about much of anything because he really didn't know what to ask. So you think he had dementia well before 2009? Oh, yeah, I, he had dementia before 2006. Within a year after updating his trust, Bill Bolin saw Pat when the Broncos played in London in 2010. And my dad walked back to me and point blank said, I don't think he had any idea who I was. Something is not right. Mr. Pat Bolin. While Bill Bolin, his daughter, and other family members raised questions in their lawsuits about Pat's mental capacity when he changed his will and trust, he was still speaking publicly in 2008. I run the show. When he fired Mike Shanahan. I'm here every day. I make the decisions. But the next year, 2009, he told a sports columnist his health was good, but I have short-term memory loss. I know that some of the memories of the Super Bowl championships are fading. Bolin had two daughters interested in taking over the team. The trustees favored one over another, and it split the family. Now the team will likely be sold. In 2014, Pat Bolin's wife acknowledged he had been battling Alzheimer's for the last few years. Pat Bolin died in 2019. We're always going to be there, you know. It was a good run. This is as much my home as Edmund. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's all been exceedingly difficult on this once tight-knit family. What has transpired over the last decade has torn it apart at its core. It's just so sad for you that it's ending in this way. It didn't have to happen this way. That's what really gets me. An attorney representing the three Bronco trustees declined to comment on this report. It's estimated the team is worth well over $3 billion now. And tomorrow night at 6, Julie Boland talks about what other families can learn from Pat Boland's struggle with Alzheimer's and how it can help other families plan ahead.